Hey there, movie aficionados and fellow time travelers to the past. Do you remember those hazy, nostalgic days when you kicked back, popcorn in hand, and journeyed into the heart of darkness with the 1979 cinematic masterpiece, Apocalypse Now? If you're like me, you've been spellbound by the mesmerizing storytelling, iconic characters, and unforgettable moments that unfolded on screen. Whether it was the enigmatic Colonel Kurtz, the mesmerizing ride of the Valkyrie's helicopter assault, or the haunting sound of Jim Morrison's The End, there's something undeniably magical about this cinematic gem. So, tell me, did you watch Apocalypse Now back in the day? What's your cherished memory or favorite character? I'd love to hear about the moments that made you laugh, cry, or ponder the madness of it all. Let's stroll down memory lane together. Now, let's set the stage for some fascinating facts about the show that might just surprise you. Apocalypse Now is not only a gripping war epic, but a story of behind-the-scenes chaos, including typhoons, Martin Sheen's real heart attack, and a four-year production that pushed the limits of filmmaking. Stay tuned for more intriguing insights into the creation of this iconic film. Get ready to dive into the madness, the genius, and the mayhem of Apocalypse Now. Francis Ford Coppola's 1979 movie, Apocalypse Now, is a legendary cinematic work known for its challenges during production. One notable fact is that approximately 1,250 feet of film, equivalent to about 230 hours of footage, was shot for the movie. This immense volume of material highlights the meticulous and extensive process that went into creating the film. Another intriguing aspect of the film's production is that Francis Ford Coppola reportedly threatened suicide multiple times during its making. The immense stress and challenges faced during the filming process took a toll on the director, illustrating the intense pressure involved in bringing Apocalypse Now to the big screen. Additionally, Mother Nature threw a curve ball into the production. A hurricane nearly destroyed the military sets during filming. Instead of starting from scratch, the partially damaged sets were ingeniously repurposed to create new scenes in the movie, including the memorable sequence in Redux where the playmates are stranded at the deserted military base. These fascinating details about Apocalypse now shed light on the dedication and resourcefulness that went into the making of this iconic film, making it a true testament to the art of cinema. Colonel Kurtz in Apocalypse Now and the inspiration of Lope de Agua in the 1979 movie Apocalypse Now, the character of Colonel Kurtz, portrayed by Marlon Brando, is a central figure. His character is inspired by the story of Lope de Agua, a 16th century Spanish soldier. Agua led a treacherous expedition through the Amazon jungle in search of the mythical city of El Dorado. The parallels between Colonel Kurtz and Lope de Agua are evident in their descent into madness and their willingness to go to extreme lengths to achieve their goals. Kurtz, a rogue officer in the Vietnam War, becomes a symbol of the chaos and darkness of war, much like Agua's doomed quest in the Amazon. The film Apocalypse now draws from this historical reference to depict the moral and psychological disintegration of its characters in the heart of a different kind of jungle, the Vietnam War. This connection to history adds depth to the character of Colonel Kurtz and highlights the enduring impact of historical figures and events on modern storytelling. In the 1979 movie Apocalypse Now, director Francis Ford Coppola went through a remarkable physical transformation, shedding 100 pounds during the grueling filming process. His dedication to the project, which faced numerous challenges, including weather setbacks and budget overruns, took a toll on his health. Coppola's weight loss reflects the intense commitment required to bring this iconic Vietnam War film to life. The movie also contains a subtle but powerful commentary on the war. In the scene featuring a Playboy bunny show, sharp-eyed viewers can spot drums labeled Dow Chemicals. Dow was one of the companies responsible for manufacturing Agent Orange, a controversial chemical defoliant used in Southeast Asia during the war. The presence of these drums serves as a reminder of the environmental and human costs associated with the conflict, as Agent Orange had severe and lasting health effects on both soldiers and civilians. Another memorable moment in Apocalypse Now is the helicopter assault scene set to Wagner's The Ride of the Valkyries. This music choice was not coincidental. 
In the original opera, Der Ring des Nibelungen, the Valkyrie's apparent victory ultimately leads to defeat. Similarly, the helicopter attack symbolizes a fleeting triumph in the midst of the broader war's ultimate futility. Apocalypse now remains a powerful and thought-provoking portrayal of the Vietnam War with its director's weight loss, the subtle reference to Dow chemicals, and the use of Wagner's music adding layers of depth and commentary to the film. The varied credits and real-life helicopter drama of Apocalypse Now in the 1979 movie Apocalypse Now, there are intriguing details beyond the on-screen action. One aspect involves the different treatments of opening and end credits in various versions of the film. The 35mm version rolls credits over surrealistic explosions and a burning jungle, setting the tone for the movie. On the other hand, the 70mm version skips these credits altogether, showing only a single line copyright notice at the end. Both versions are available on video, with the 70mm version being letterboxed. A third variation features credits rolling over a black background offering yet another viewing experience. Another fascinating tidbit about the making of Apocalypse Now is the involvement of the Philippine president, Ferdinand Marcos. His government provided the film with helicopters and pilots, essential for the movie's war scenes. However, this support came with a twist. The Marcos government was simultaneously combating rebels in the same area where filming took place. As a result, there were instances when the helicopters and pilots were pulled away from the film production to join real battles. In these situations, replacement pilots unfamiliar with the film's requirements caused challenges for the production team. Now, as an interesting aside, consider the character Lieutenant Colonel Kilbor in the film. Hilgore is portrayed as a goofy foot surfer, which means he rides his surfboard with his right foot forward, a less common style compared to most surfers who have their left foot forward. In summary, Apocalypse Now is not just a compelling war movie, but it also boasts unique nuances, from the varying credits to the real-life drama of helicopter support from the Marcos government, and even quirky details about its characters. As we navigate the river of memories, it's impossible not to be drawn into the turbulent, mesmerizing waters of the 1979 masterpiece, Apocalypse Now. The haunting journey through the heart of darkness, the enigmatic charisma of Colonel Kurtz, the hypnotic rhythms of the jungle, and the surreal ballet of helicopters set to Wagner's Ride of the Valkyries, all these elements have etched an indelible mark on cinematic history. For many, Apocalypse Now is more than a film. It's an exploration of the human psyche, a meditation on the duality of human nature, and a mirror reflecting our own inner conflicts. The film's narrative takes us deep into the heart of chaos and poses profound questions about morality, sanity, and the price of war. It's a cinematic odyssey that leaves an indelible mark on the soul, inviting us to confront our own darkness and wrestle with our inner demons. We invite you to take a moment and reflect on your personal connection with Apocalypse Now. What were the scenes that resonated with you the most? The characters that left a lasting impact? The lines that still echo in your mind? Did the movie change the way you perceive the world or cinema itself? We'd love to hear your favorite memories, thoughts, or experiences related to this cinematic masterpiece. Share your reflections and let us continue the conversation around this iconic film. Thank you for your time and interest in exploring the depths of Apocalypse Now. We look forward to hearing your insights and stories. Keep the discussion alive and let's celebrate the enduring legacy of this cinematic gem.